Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice, Ra third round, well round of 16. It is technically the third round, but I haven't cast any of the games until now. We've got Gatus, who uh, we saw on the stream, but not on YouTube, uh, with some Dark Elves here. Two sneaky get dirty players is quite good, isn't it? Uh, up against, and also uh, Gatus here, he has a Wizard, he also has a Biased Ref, and a Bloodwiser Bay. And uh, this is, this thing's got a card, hasn't it? Maybe there's a card here. I guess maybe they're going to make cards eventually. Interesting. And uh, up against Pastel de Carni, Car, Carni, whatever. I don't know how you pronounce anything. Um, he's got a sneaky get dirty player. And orcs with a defensive war. Lords of guard, lords of mighty blow. Quite a bit of tackle. Really nice team, especially to face dark elves. Looks like he's just going all men's LOS. <laughs> Big brain strats of all men's LOS. Flip me. <laughs> That's literally all men's LOS. Love it. Let's flip and go. And I mean, that's not really going to be attackable at all, is it? Especially with the... Uh, he's got no guard anyway on this team. He does have a mighty blow tackler. Um... Colours wise, another appalling team colour selection from both sides. I, I do think that the Dark Elves are maybe trying to blend into their stadium pitch, which is which is a good idea, but by Christ these orcs are just ugly as hell. <laughs> Let's keep it on blue and red. He really is. He's put his he's put his blitz uh, his thrower on the alloys. He's a mad lad, isn't he, this guy? Flip me. I guess like this is a, it kind kinds of you put you in a kind of puts you in a good spot to uh chase the Dakar. But more realistically it just gets this guy surfed, right? Like surely it's so easy to surf him that you have to surf this guy. You have to surf him. You have to. I mean, if he's got a Witch Elf. Does he have Witch Elves? Yeah. He's got two Witch Elves. And you have to surf this guy, right? Like, it's literally so easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he's there. Like, that's insane. Like, it's a huge commitment, but I would do it. I think it's worth a huge commitment to get rid of a block guard mighty blow. Big and... Like, it's not, it's not easy, obviously, because you'd have to get double pushes. But... Like, it's just so powerful. It would, it would, I think it would, I'd be tempted to try it, obviously, otherwise just Dakar. I guess this this is a weird one because it's it's kind of like in a good spot to chase a Dakar, and also it encourages a Dakar because nobody can fight the LOS. Maybe this is the the thing to do against Dark Elves. All men's LOS them. Vicious ref. Nobody sent off. It's just a stunned biggin. Biggin. Now I bet he really wishes he'd set up to surf this guy. No guard at all on the uh, dark elves is really rough, isn't it? They should have at least got one guard. Yeah, 
So we're doing like the a bit like a normal offense, which I think is a mistake. I just think you should dacker, 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 tactically defended. I guess this way you do get a foul, right? Fouling with sneaky kit, dirty player is very strong. We'd get the foul in the end anyway, so. And this just means that you get fouled back as well. Very aggressive. Do you three assist foul the blitzer? Yeah, you have to, don't you? I think. Even though he's an unskilled blitzer. I just think you kinda have to. Even though like this guy you can only get two assists on the big one. Even though he's a really good player. Three assists on him is better, isn't it? I mean, you at least have to foul one of them. <laughs> I guess the, the fact that you've got sneaky get dirty player does make it like free to foul the big one. But yeah, I think I mean I would go for the I would go for the blitzer foul, even though he's like the worst player on the team. Sneaky get dirty P, sneaky get DP is too strong, isn't it? I, I would not be able to resist not fouling. But instead, he doesn't foul either of them. Outrageous. Do you know what? I nearly took a picture of my dinner today. I made myself steak, and it is the best steak I've eaten in my life. Oh my god, it was so good. I should be a chef, honestly. <laughs> it was so good. It does seem like a misplay. Yeah, I feel like fouling is better. Even even if you're gonna foul, even if you're gonna foul the stunned, I still think like fouling the stunned big and is better than not fouling him. Even though you know you, you might not want to do, I can understand not wanting to foul the skillless guy, right? Because he's got so many good players, you want to foul the good player. But I think even fouling the stunned guy is better than not fouling at all. Because just tactically, you should be dackering, right? If you're not going to be gang fouling the sneaky git, you should be you should be dackering. <laughs> There's so much tackle on this team as well. It's fucking horrible. It's really horrible for elves. This team. I guess this is the thing here. This is the thing for elves in this edition. Is. Um, there's no point in chaos because claw isn't good which means the orcs and dwarves don't fear the claw which means you know the orcs there's no piling on so the orcs take more tackle and there's you know you're just facing orcs with loads of tackle and loads of guard and defensive so even if you have a guard you can't use it So strong. Orcses. Good old Orcses. I wouldn't say it's a requirement, but um, it did keep it did keep them in check, didn't it? It certainly did keep dwarves and orcs in check. I mean, I I seem to recall myself saying many many times, "Be careful what you wish for," <laughs> because uh, because you know it's going to mean for it's going to make for a lot. Of orcs and dwarves, and you know there was loads of orcs and dwarves in Living Room Book Four, right? There was loads of orcs and dwarves in that. I 
The thing is, the problem that you've got with Blood Bowl is the people making the rules do not, like, are bad. Bad at Blood Bowl and bad at making rules. Right? <laughs> Both of them. He's also, this guy has managed to not, uh, not cage his ball carrier here, by the way. <laughs> Just quietly. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that doesn't work, does it? He's managed to literally not. He's got a dodge or GFI, yeah. <laughs> he could have just done a second dodge. <laughs> Amazing that he uh, that he didn't uh, cage then. <sighs> Boy, howdy. This guy could have been one back and caged, but did not do that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the problem is you've got two, you've got two worlds of Blood Bowl. Well, you've got three, I guess. You've got like tabletop tournament people who make the best of what happens. Um, well, exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's why they're bad. That's why they're bad, right? Like, I'm not very experienced at curling because I've never done it. Guess what? That means I'm shit at curling. It, it, I don't know why nobody wants to say people are bad at things and have to, like, you know, sugarcoat it with, you know, some stupid euphemism like, you know, a beginner or whatever. Hello, Dimmy, by the way. You got three types of people in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jim. You're right, mate. Hello, oh, not bad. Thanks. Yeah, you got three. You've got three worlds of Blood Bowl. You've got tabletop tournaments, which is largely independent of all the rules anyway, right? Because they don't have progression, and they don't have, you know, leagues or anything. And they, they they've really got nothing there. It's completely different. The tabletop tournaments. That's, That's completely cool. Hi, different. Gene. Yeah, they don't bother with that. Definitely not. Um, and then you've got, like, leagues. That Well, sorry. Then then you've got, like, online Blood Bowl, where you have, like, you know, Black Box and uh, Blood Bowl 3 and stuff like that, right? Fumble and Blood Bowl 3 and all that. And where people play millions of games, well, not millions, thousands, and are generally way, way, way better than the third way, which is the way that the rules are intended for, which is a group of like five or six friends playing the odd game a week. And like none of those three really cross over on what rules they want, do they? No, that's all right, yeah. Like the, there's the fun havers, isn't there? There's the fun havers as well. Mm -hmm. like, oh, that, you like you're always going to get the fun havers. You'd have fun havers play in tabletop and you've got competitive types in tabletop, you've got competitive types in, in yeah, local, small like local like leagues. Yeah, subgroups, yeah, yeah, mm. subgroups. So you you always get them, but, but they're the three the three kind of rule sets. Like, you you, you really want a rule set that all three could use. Um, somehow. Yeah. But, or at least like a rule set that all three would be happy with. But the problem is the people writing the rules... Um, I play Blood Bowl. Uh, well, uh, they're just bad at it. They're just they're just bad at writing rules. Well, they're they bad at blood bowl. They don't, they don't really care. Like, and they, they don't they, care. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like they obviously wanted to make big guys better, so people would buy big guys, and they wanted to make star players better, so people would buy star players. I and mean, it's not because they looked for the game and felt that it would be an improvement on the game, right? So. Well, I think you could. I want I want star players better because uh, when, when you're playing games, at the, when you're playing the game as it's intended to be played, right? A small local league, eight people. But what happens is every time I've ever played in a small local league, whether it's Necromunda, Mordheim, Blood Bowl, anything, the better players make a better team and win more. And then they progress further and further and further and they get more and more stuff and they get further and further ahead. And the bad players, their players die more and stuff and they get worse and worse and they get further and further behind. So yeah, I really quite like players. star players being a good catch-up mechanic for them. Yeah. That's the thing with, like, Blood Bowl is the snowball, right? Hmm. But, but yeah, and 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 then like, every 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 game that Games Workshop have ever made, like with with yeah, Nick Ramonda, yeah, mate, do you remember Gork and Walker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never played that. The first game of that, mate, you just won the whole campaign. It was over. Did you? I never played it. Well, yeah, then, you were just so miles ahead with <laughs> economy and stuff. It's just insane. Yeah. So that's it. So star players to fill gaps is really good. But then you've got the problem that 
you know the, the star players are better than the team so like you're you're not buying your positionals so you can get stars right Which well is... well then well then you've got the thing of tabletop tournaments where that's totally different right and and then and then and then online when you can manage tv and stuff and and so so those two things are like totally different to having a league where if some poor asshole joins and is 400 TV behind, well, hey, at least he gets more and he isn't completely shit on, you know? Yeah, I mean... Morg is something else. He is, yeah, maybe Morg is maybe... But I'm, I'm okay <laughs> with Morg being the best player in the game, right? Because in the fluff, oh, he's yeah, the best player yeah. in the game. So just I'm okay with him being the best Yeah, just take Mighty Blow plus two off him, man. That, man he's absolutely fine by me. Like. Yeah, make him cheaper. Make, make him like 340 with Mighty Blow plus one or whatever. It's, yeah, it's like Mighty Blow plus two, DP plus two, like they're just insane. Yep. And it's just depressing to play. It's so hard to like to keep mentally in the game when you're playing against it. Every yeah. Kaz just eats away at yourself. <laughs> so he can dodge up there, can't he? And he probably wanted to do this dodge first. This guy didn't get surfed, but uh, he's made kind of a formation. Really wanted this guy to be one further behind, right? So that it'd all be screened. He, done a few times that where he's like put a guy early that's ended up in the wrong position later. If this guy had been one square down, this formation's so much better making a screen with these guys. And then like this guy could have GFI'd and he'd have a full screen all the way across. Um, but as it is, everything can come in. Wow, you're on it today, Jim. On it today. There you go. On it like a car bonnet. <laughs> There'll be a norm star player with <laughs> plus three DP with goose feet. Oh man, that'd be amazing, Seabrooks. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, but that's the thing, Science. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing, Science. Like, like, you know, if you're 400 TV behind, maybe you do need like that because people wouldn't be like. So the, this is the that's just the thing, isn't it? It's it's basically they're they're making it for they've got one thing in mind when making the rules. And like, I also think they're not very good at making the rules. But even if they were good at making the rules, they still only have one thing in mind, which is eight people in a local, small local league playing, you know, a little league for fun with their buddies. That's what it is. They really don't care about tabletop. They really don't care about online. Yeah. And even if they did, they'd do a bad job at it. <laughs> There's some interest, interesting stuff going on with Age of Sigma at the moment as well. Mm. I, I tend to like try and keep an eye out on the other games and stuff, like just to see. Like I'm not playing them or anything, but just to see. Oh, oh I don't like that. Do you know what? If he's going to put all of this in, surely he's going to put in a player. He's moved them. Oh man, he's moved them both. Surely you would have put a guy in here, blitz him, and then chain this guy for another hit. But he hasn't done that. He's just completely surrounded him for no apparent reason. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously, obviously sees him as the main threat. <laughs> he's got mighty blow against my AV10 plus or whatever it is. Oh, he's, he's, doing, he's building all these, but then he's not blitzing him. <laughs> okay, I'm bamboozled. He's blitzed the witch hole instead. Oh, mate, he should have hit the DP sneak. Yeah, like. Should have done, yeah. Anyone. Yeah. Meatloaf is all. Oh, is that Meatloaf, is it? Uh... Yeah, G Games Workshop are bad at rules because because they just don't care. Like, they just don't care. They'll they'll, they'll pay a fucking... They'll get an intern to write the rules because they just don't care. Which is just weird, right? Because you'd think if you're going to spend, like, you know, fucking... Like, they make millions, right? Like, they're obviously doing the right thing when you look at their share price and stuff and how much, you know, like, how well they're doing, right? They're doing great. They're doing great being a miniatures company. But it does feel like, you know, as a layman, wouldn't they do better if they had good rules? And surely, if you're going to make, like, whatever the fucking how much that they make a year, if you're going to be making all of those millions, is it, isn't it? it just okay to, like, give somebody, like, you know, 100k to, like, write good rules all year? <laughs> like, isn't that a reasonable expenditure to, like, just make a good game? It seems weird, doesn't it, that they just purposefully just don't care about... Like, it seems weird to me to just not care about... Like a major aspect of the game. Yeah, I mean the things I've seen like on YouTube and stuff, and like ex-employees and all that sort of thing. It doesn't. It doesn't really seem to be 
what they're focused on. No, it's not. I mean, you can you can see from what they do that it's not. And yeah, they don't care. it's just it's just weird to me. It just seems like. I wonder who's like who like I, I just it really does make me wonder where this gnome team came from. <laughs> yeah. Oh, reroll comes in. Beats him off. Beats him off. Rain if he'd powered that'd been really nice, wouldn't it? It would have cleared cleared tackle off of the witch elf. But I mean it wouldn't have been that nice, but it would have been still quite nice. <laughs> Yeah, they do need to give more dividends, but you know, this is the thing. You, you sometimes need to spend money to make money, don't you? And it just seems like really penny pinching to not do that. But then, look at Argyle. He spent two hundred million on on making Argyle. Don't know if you've seen Argyle, Dimmy, or anybody else in chat. But um, no, what is it? It's the worst movie I've seen <laughs> in a long time. It's really, really, is it a war really film, is bad. It? It's, it's, it's. I don't know what it is. It's a Netflix. It's, re it's like the most Netflixy Netflix film ever made. It's really Netflixy. That, that's the best. I, that's the best I can describe it. It's like I don't really know what it's meant to be. Um, it's like a Netflix movie. <laughs> it's like Kingsman if it was shit. There you go. Kingsman if it was shit is. You've seen Kingsman, right? Uh, I don't think I have. You know, uh, like Kingsman, if it was shit. Uh, I mean, I'd, like, I'd, Steve, I'd love to agree with you, Jim, but like, since you're on this Geordie Shaw hype train, I, I can't really trust you. Me, Geordie Shaw is the best <laughs> show ever. <laughs> best show ever. Pe people enjoyed Fallout. Fallout has got very good reviews, um, in both uh, user reviews, uh, like viewer reviews, and uh, what's it called? Like you know, what, what's it called? Like press reviews or whatever. Um, but I didn't enjoy it. Critics, that's the one. Thank you. Critics and viewers both give really good scores to uh, Fallout. I I thought it was shit, but there you go. Yeah, I must admit, I get surprised by like Rotten Tomato ratings quite a lot. Hmm. <laughs> turn boring quick to work out. Look, it's not, it's not even that bad. It's just I got sidetracked by the mention of rules for some reason ages ago. The game's okay, I think, actually. You know, they pushed forward. But they, they, he milled too much around, right? He should have got more back. He should have got he's, back. He's going to score it. Well, I think he's going to score early anyway. Like, what's yeah. the damage? It's two, four, six, eight, nine. I need two elves off. Well, that's not bad. But he's struggling to put pressure on this turn, isn't he? Whereas if he'd, if he'd moved more back he last turn... He could have forced it before, he, yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, he could have forced it in maybe next turn, whereas now it's going to take another couple of turns maybe to get it in. Um... But uh, oh no, yeah, no machine. I I didn't. I've not played any of the Fallout games. Um, but I just hated it because it was crap. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Argyle. They spent two hundred million on it, right? Two hundred. Argyle is the movie, uh, the the shit Kingsman. And I, honestly, that's the best way to describe it. If Kingsman was shit, it would be Argyle, and uh, it's really shit. It cost two hundred million, like. So you'd think if you're spending two hundred million dollars on something. You would like make the foundation good, right? Make like make get a good script, <laughs> or get a good director, or both. But they went with neither. <laughs> very strange. Very very strange. Orcs haven't made an effort to defend, but they still got quite a lot back, haven't they? In the end, a couple of GFIs. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think he's forced to score. To be fair. I think one more turn, right? I think they get one more turn out of this. Roll some twos and get one more turn. So then I guess, is it worth rolling some twos to get another turn? When you could just score one two, roll one two and score this turn. Maybe it is better to just score. Also, that gives the Orcs four turns, which is a good amount for them to score, right? And the counter score, yeah. And then you've got the wizard um, to maybe get the counter score. Oh, he's fouling against the, uh, the biased ref. And the bias ref rolled a five and got him. So there you go. Yeah, that was pretty shoddy. It was his. It was the his least favourite player. That wasn't. It? It's the player he surrounded, so he really wanted to foul. Him. Yeah, but this is the thing, right, Magic Out? But like one million of less than one million of that is the script, isn't it? And probably like less than five minute five million is the script and director. So like, it seems weird to if you're going to spend two hundred million. 
to not spend 205 and get a good writer and director. It's weird. I did see bros, yeah. Do you mind? I've been talking about Fallout and, <laughs> and Argyle and Geordie Shaw, okay? God, see bros, want us to pay attention to the game. What planet are you from? <laughs> yeah. What planet? I think he's from the planet Denmark, isn't he? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think he is. Tim just blabbering. Yep. I didn't enjoy it in Side, but of course, people. Uh, pe I, I said people did, so you know, you probably will enjoy it, right? Most people did. Critically did. acclaimed, well, I, viewers I enjoyed it. What do you mean, Fallout? I'm only like a little bit into it, but it's it's very much like the game, like you know, like when they're shooting people and they're exploding. Mm. Like, that happens in the game, so like <laughs> I can understand if you're like someone who's not played Fallout, going, "Oh, what the hell? This is like totally unrealistic or whatever." But it's like it's very like loyal to the game. <laughs> mm. What they should what they should have done is had like loads of random people walking into walls in the background, <laughs> like the NPCs. Like that would have been amazing. Like <laughs> oh my god, or like trying to walk through a door and just like reappearing through the wall and all that sort of thing. Like if they'd done that, it would have been hilarious. Mm -hmm. Timbo's a group. But you see, I haven't, I haven't watched the, I haven't played the game. So maybe if you played the game, yeah, if you played the there. game, you'd probably understand it a bit more. Because I, I must admit, like some of the, like the shooting scenes and that, I'm like, oh my god, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> but then, like, it's that's pretty like loyal to the game, right? The main problem I had is that I watched the first episode and I didn't know any characters' names or anything you know personalities motivations anything they were just everything Motivation. was just bland everything was just bland the blandest bland thing they could possibly make and that didn't change by the second episode so i stopped watching it i'd say last of us level i liked it more than last i, I thought, thought last, last of us was all right yeah I thought, I thought last of us was good and i didn't i didn't i didn't play the games but i i enjoyed the thing stood alone I I hadn't I hadn't played the game until I saw it, and then I, I've now played it. Mm. It's brilliant. Yeah, the only names that I knew were Goggins and uh, and the other one, McLaughlin. Goggins and McLaughlin were the only names that I knew. <laughs> and I probably googled the hot chick, but I can't remember her name. <laughs> Again, I only knew their names because they're the actors' names, right? Like, I didn't know the fucking characters. There were no characters. They were, it was just fucking weird. Shit. Absolute garbage. Pure garbage. Hey, have, you, have you seen this Pastel Geezer's uh, first game? Like, have you seen him in the cup before? No, I don't know. no. We only saw one game, didn't we? Oh, you mean like in the cup previous? No, I haven't seen you these in yeah. the cup previous. No, like um, that, yeah, I saw the Dark Elf guy, didn't I? Katoos. Yeah, well, that's the one game that we did from the second round, yeah. But, like, haven't seen them in Chalice before this season, I thought you meant. Uh, no, no, I just meant, like, have you seen this Orc team's game before this? No, no, no. The only team that we saw no, from the right. second round, the only game we saw from the second round was the Dark Elves. And again, not on YouTube. Sorry, YouTube viewers. Yeah, I don't know how good this guy is. Mm. Although, surrounding the uh, Mighty Blow player, completely unnecessary. Might be an indication. Mm. The Terror. Yeah. I've never seen The Terror. I've seen Planet Terror, the movie. I enjoyed that. <laughs> the Terror, interesting. Ooh, a KO there. KO? Hey oh, mate, the elves they got, well, 10 now, but yeah, they're still like full health. Mm. I guess it only really takes a turn or two for that to change, right? It only takes a minute, girl. To fall in love. <laughs> what a fucking banger that is, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> they were really good, fucking take that, by the way. Take that were really good. I don't know. They were really good. I gotta be <laughs> <laughs> they were really good, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> My sister used to love them. Mm. <laughs> when was that? That's got to be like early 90s. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, they were a bit before my time. 
Yeah, well, you must have been 25 then. <laughs> you twat. <laughs> <laughs> No, Spice Girls was more my era, which was just towards the end of Take That, right? <laughs> uh, Prometheus, but not shit. Brilliant. Yeah, the uh, the the one that you said about the the Australian one. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would. I wanted to watch that, but I haven't watched it yet. I guess I could. Was it Mr. Irrelevant or something? Oh no, that's that's American football, isn't it, Mr. Irrelevant? Mr. In Between. Mm. Right, so there we go. It's turn five. We're gonna move forward, mm. movement six, because we've got plus movement, because Mr. Throw's not as bad as he used to be when he gets plus movement, guaranteed. He's still not good, but guaranteed plus movement. Is something, isn't it? Yeah, it's in, like honestly, I think a lot of the people who join these eternal leagues are probably going to have a little bit less fun than what they're used to. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> when like all carriers are literally just you can pick whatever you want, almost. Yeah, yeah. The double move like, on every ball carrier is insane. Yeah, and then when they get to the point where it's like. Every strength four guy has block guard defensive. <laughs> you don't even need what? a spam defensive, do you? You just need one or two, and, and it just, two, shuts, yeah, it just yeah. shuts everything down. It's amazing. Or like block guard defensive mummies, isn't it? That's oh it. god, that was the best, the best player of all time. <laughs> Blodge guard stand firm defensive. What? What? What a monster! Actual monster. Mm. There was a the old mighty blow doing nothing. Standard. <clears throat> I wonder how many players is going to invest in hitting it. That's a good point as well, actually. Right, that that that's another thing for the dark elves is that they've got this sneaky get dirty player with a biased ref, right? So they aren't they less likely to get caught themselves? Isn't that how that works? Uh, no idea. Jim. I've got a feeling. I think all I know is bias ref is if you roll a five when you, you foul, then you get sent off, right? But that's the, I don't know about the other way. I think it might make your uh, I think it makes your argue the call, but yeah, I think it does. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not entirely sure, mate. I don't really. Neither do I. Jam. Not my jam. Jam was a great TV show, by the way. Was it? Yeah, really weird, but really good. Chris Morris. Maybe not to everybody's taste, but uh, very good if you're me. <laughs> oh, nobody. Well, some people. Some people are you, are they, Jimmy? Yep. Yep. Which side are you going here? You've kind of got to pick a pick a side, haven't you? Uh, I mean, I think his last turn he should have probably pushed a bit quicker. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like he should have given himself more options. Yeah, because it just flooded the middle here. Uh, the dark elves. This is quite a nice little push forward. Yeah, I thought I, th I would have pushed him forward, right? I would have moved uh, big and even further forward. Um. Get a cheek removal. Uh, brass eye, brass eye. Steve uh, was Chris Morris and the day to day. Um, and all that movie, that movie with uh, three lions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was Chris Morris. I thought he was like the lead singer of. Uh... <laughs> Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was Morrissey. <laughs> no, no, is it what is it? Parachutes or whatever it is. Who, who sung Parachutes? I don't Coldplay. Know. I don't know. Coldplay, no, wasn't it? Chris Morris, not, not whoever you're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead, Chris Martin. <laughs> <There you> go. <laughs> I got the name right. <laughs> Half right. 
<laughs> didn't get the name right, did you? The name was Chris <laughs> Morris. <laughs> <laughs> That was a pretty good turn, I thought, actually, there, from uh, from the Orcs. Pretty strong turn. Yeah, <laughs> it's looking pretty nice. Mm. Really nice. Really nice. This guy's a bit trapped, isn't he? And then these can rotate around. The two removals really helped. You know, only having nine players I'm to wondering stop wondering if this. there's anything spicy on the ball here. Not really. No, I think just two banks of two. Yeah, not really. What turn are we on? Seven. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Two banks is probably. Wow, well, I don't know. Hi. One, two, three, four. I mean, that's pretty strong, isn't it? Well, yeah. The problem is, is the orc can just reverse and go down the other side. Because uh, 'cause you've got another one, it's not that easy for them to reverse, man. It really isn't. Really isn't. Well, the side step, yeah, the side step blister. Blitzer is the problem though. Right? Mm hmm If he knocks this guy down then it's like he he's got a side step. Has he not got a side step? Why do you not have a side step? Yeah, so Oh no, it's the guy on yeah, the floor. The, the, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So this should have been the blitz, right? I think. I think he should have gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this guy could have blitzed and then made it the eight. I don't think he's got enough players here. Yeah, well, I does. He can just, he can just. I mean, he, he hasn't because he's kind of put these two here, but they're kind of stopping the reverse a bit. But now he's, he's left with seven, isn't he? Which isn't eight. So, so now he doesn't have enough players. But he like he could have had enough players if he'd done it correct. 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 Because now it's going to be a little bit weak down the side, I guess. Which elf there, and then like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another player there, and then another player there. But then you're weak. Like you just you can't not make it weak now. Because he's spent too many players over here. Three players over here is too much. If you ask me. I'd agree. Because these three are just not doing anything. Like the diagonal is gaping now, isn't it? You know, so he, either the sideline or the or the diagonal is gaping. Whereas if these three were here, then this then they stop this. These three could have been here. Like you want men here. And men here, and then you stop the push down there, and you stop the switch to the middle, and then all you've got is like a long way around here, which is a bit shit. So yeah, I think he could have defended this better. I'm not sure why he didn't do chevrons on the troop five. Mm. So I guess this is the best he could do, given the previous things that had happened. He's got a sidestepper holding here to stop the diagonal push. But he's only got one on the side, but at least he's got this a bit further. So this isn't this is probably this is probably pretty good actually, considering what had gone wrong before it. But like that block was just so much better to being a dodge away, like a million times better. And if this had been a blitz to get, you know, move the other. I don't know if it was a blitz or, or not, but if he oh. just moved this, oh wow! Oh no, it's, it's he's gonna no squeeze. No, I don't. Oh, I don't know about this. Block. This is no good. This is Sapucci. It would have been I mean, really sub Gucci if it had been a blocker and he'd just not done anything. <laughs> I mean, the good news is that he's uh, stunned him. Mm -hmm. But, like, squeezing down the sideline is not good. Like, you want to go into the middle because then you can go right or left. Yeah. Like, if he goes down the left, it makes it even oh, yes. easier for the Delts. No, I, won't give yeah. I wonder if I'm we're going to see the uh, blitz through the screen defend. and jump over the player. Maybe. Right. Maybe. That would be exciting, Jim wouldn't star, it, Jim? Jim star, that would be Jim really star. exciting. I love, I love a good jump. I did a jump today. Yeah, it was the best play I've ever seen. I know, right? I know. <laughs> chat, chat just was stunned silence. Didn't even get a... Well done, Tim. Honestly, I was, I, was, I was sat there and I stood up and I clapped. 
Um, in, oh, yeah. <laughs> on your on your chair. <laughs> Still yeah. on your chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I clap. I stood up and clap. Hello, Samage. Jim Star, Jim Star, Jim Star. Two whole years. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Unbelievable. It's... What a legend Samage is. Oh, wow. He, uh, he animosity <laughs> The fucking Mr. Oh, Thrawn animosity God. Oh, he's just going to score this turn. He's going to double GFI and score this turn. How many rerolls has he got? One. And he did it, and he scored because there's only one turn left for the for the delves. Pretty he, nice. He he didn't even get in the end zone. Well, you need a replay on that. He did not. No, get yeah, he in didn't. Yeah, zone. it's weird, isn't it? It's a fucked up game. What can I, I, I say? I'm calling it one nil. I'm gonna have to send this to the to the bug channel because so this weird. game is still one nil. <laughs> he did not get in the end zone. I love the Jim Star by the way. I'm gonna to have to make a website with the. Uh, I have to make a website with the Jim Stars. You know, every coach who has a Jim Star. I've got two. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself two. I'm not gonna give myself three. I'm oh my god! One. He used an edge bus blitz as a receivable. Oh wow! Amazing. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> oh man! Um, best player ever is that high elf character. The Witch Elf, honestly, the Witch Strength Four Witch Elf, better than a Strength Five. Catcher. No, my strength six chaos warrior was the best player ever. Nah. Yeah, Butch Cassidy. Well, I mean, it name. was my best player ever. Obviously, the best player ever was uh, fucking Daedal's Witch Elf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Witch Elf, Daedal's, was... Daedal's Dancer, even Daedal's Dancer. That was unreal, oh, my wasn't God. it? No, strength five, edge five. Like, fuck off, man. What <laughs> 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 the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> insanity? <laughs> <laughs> what in the blue fuck is that? Oh my pass block chaos warrior. That was a long time ago, Rando. What, what about what about your uh, what about your your tree man that got something? Oh, what did your tree man get? Dawn, yeah, Dawn, <laughs> this, <laughs> kick, <laughs> kick as well. <laughs> the, tree, the trees are always on the LOS, are they? <laughs> and then he got dauntless as well. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Dauntless, a dauntless kick tree. <laughs> that might be the funniest player ever. Obviously, I've been watching a Rick stream, and like he's just been spamming like guard, mighty blow, and like block on all these big guys. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get on this. Doubles are great. Doubles are the best thing ever. And then like I got a dauntless kick tree. Nice. I mean, to be fair, the tree was amazing because he, he obviously was doing well because he, he leveled twice in a short amount of time. But yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> they were the wrong levels. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Punta, that's what Dimmy says about me as well. <laughs> as well. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, Michelle's like, what the hell? <laughs> She's just like, that's not real. That's not real. I'm like, it is. Yeah, I am real. <laughs> what does she say when she hears Hancock? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't think she's heard the Hancock cackle yet. Because he doesn't. He doesn't really like stream. And when he does stream, he's like really quiet and that, and he just mm. so all like. But yeah, the Hancock cackle is hilarious and terrifying <laughs> and weird. <laughs> yep. Yep. Love a bit of Hancock. <laughs> Cook's amazing hair. <laughs> or his amazing nose. That was funny. Did you see that on the <laughs> in my Discord? There's a, there was some survey that said like people with big noses have got big cocks, <laughs> and then and then Hancock put his picture where he looks like Ripper again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Proper amazing. <laughs> He's running away, but of course there is. Uh, he's getting blocked and blitzed with a follow-up potentially, to, because he could fill all of these squares. Maybe he could fill all the squares to get a follow-up somehow. Right, he can at least get three dice, can't he? he? Can at least get three dice both times. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to foul. So that, that sneaky git guy, 
he's sent off, right? But there's no way of telling that's that he's shit. sent off, is he? Not? Isn't that shit? Like, like, I'm sorry, but that's terrible play. That's absolutely terrible play. He just two diced him. He just two diced him, yeah. <laughs> like, he could have just moved this guy to here, moved the guard in, and make it three dice. And then he's not stood firm to deny himself a three dice block with mighty blow. Oh, I guess it's to get Morris's for the foul. Yeah, he wants the foul, yeah. But even then, you could have just filled all these squares and three diced him as well with mighty blow. Wow, that was really shit. He really hates that mighty blow player. <laughs> he does, it's doesn't quite, he? It's quite funny. He gets the KO. He gets the sent off as well. But yeah. like... But he had the reserve, right? So it's not that bad, the send off. I mean, it's overtime though, right? Yeah, but he's, it's 1-1 one, one and he's receiving, so... <coughs> oh yeah, and there's only one kickoff, right? Does the, does the Mighty Blow come back? The Mighty Blow did come does. back. Yeah, so it's completely pointless. But I like that. I like I like the foul, because, it, you know, if you, if you get the Mighty Blow off, then... Uh, I mean, he's receiving, yeah. Anymore. He's receiving and it's 1-1, one, one, so like, in his head, there is no overtime, I guess. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. Again, rule of five. No offset LOS. Mm. Oh no. Oh, he hasn't set up yet. Oh, you've got to make that 3D though. That's, that's really is poor. I like, I like not being able to make it 3D, so just doing a 1D instead. <laughs> that, that's something I'm quite fond of. Mm. Yep. Four re rolls. Mm. Pretty nice. Pretty nice orc team, really, isn't it? It's pretty nice orc team. Really nice orc team, yeah. Yeah. Move no six troll bloke. Throw. Leader. No orc bloke. No, uh, no goblin bloke. bloke. Loads of guard. Stand firms, mighty blows. Defensive. Really nice. Really nice. Sneaky get dirty player. Proper nice orc team. Ooh, Iron Man. On the orcs. I guess the defensive guy or a blitzer. Or oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Throw. Throw. Mr. Throw, let's go. The big thing is, though, the wizard, right? Mr. Throw can be turned into a frog at any time. Which is not going to be good for him. Injured. I think I'd still carry it on Mr. Throw, to be honest. Mm hmm. You don't want to carry it on that wrestle line, do you? No. Or you want to carry it on one of the big strength four boys. Yeah, yeah, to make it you need a four a plus. Four to... plus, uh, make it a 50 50 wizard, right? Mm hmm. And then still have you. Mr. Throw to recover afterwards. Yeah, that's not yeah, a terrible exactly, idea. Yeah. And they're movement five now as well, so it's not it's not as bad as it would have been. Like, yeah. Why did he push him to there? He, 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 <laughs> he doesn't want the follow up hit. He could have done three dice with my evil. I'm bamboozled. I am absolutely bamboozled. Two more mighty blow blocks. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he could I have not followed. He could have not followed and got two potentially two two Ds, or he could have followed and got a three D. Yeah, it was really. I think cool. I think what he's thinking is that he wants to run him back or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, he's moving forward to assist, and now, so I guess these two are causing the sideline. So I guess that's oh, the is idea. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna throw a pass to the big guy? No. He's gonna Green, blitz though. this mighty. He's gonna blitz this mighty blow guy though. But he's sidestepped. So this is pretty dodgy. He's not sidestepped. That's dodge. This is dodge. It isn't sidestep, so it's not dodgy at all. <laughs> That's no sidestep. Is the foot with the like? Yeah, no. Right. I, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, Demi, I was wrong. Errata. 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 You were laughing at me, and you were wrong. I know, it's right. I said it right, it's okay. If, if I say it right, it just means I was right. 
He's gonna throw it. He's gonna throw the pass. He's not gonna throw it. He's gonna it. throw the pass to the big one. Oh, he's not gonna throw the pass. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Get to the chopper. Throw it. throw it! He's not throwing no, it. Ah, boo! <laughs> boo! I always admitted machine errata. Every time I'm wrong, I just I say What's... I admit it by saying errata, errata. Hang on, hang on. Is that big and is that agility down? Is it? Is that the guy doing a cartwheel or whatever it is? Yeah, this is agility down on this big one. Oh, uh, so he's, yeah, so he would have been like a, a six plus catch or whatever, a five plus catch. Mm, and it's passing down on the blitzer. I don't think there was an agility down blitzer. I think it was passing down for somebody who said that there was an agility blitzer. Oh, it was uh, Rain. Was it Rainer? It was Rando, was it? Oh, it was. It was a passing bus, not a not an agility bus. The agility bus is the big one. <laughs> it looks like an agility bus, doesn't it? Because it's got the ball. So like you'd you'd be, you'd be for forgiven for looking at the ball and thinking it was a minus edge, but it's uh, that's passing. Beefer. Ability, you know? Beefer. Beefer. Oh, he's Beef. got two. He's got two dirty player sneaky bits. Holy shit! Beefer, who's Beefer? He's gonna foul this guy, isn't he? Who's Beefer? That's what you said. Oh, he's double scold. You just started saying Beefer. That's what you just said. Yeah. Beefer Bendetta. <laughs> oh my god! And he's got the push, so he, he's now in contact with his dirty player sneaky. Oh, oh my man. Oh man! Oh man! He's got to take this mighty ball oh, hit. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> oh man! Man, it's it sucks that Chunt is no longer streaming. streaming with yeah. Blood, isn't it? I wonder if he. Why? I wonder if he'll stream again. He's uninstalled Bloodborne now, and he, he thinks he's done with it. But I mean, I don't think he. Oh what? Done like he's it. actually not playing it because he mm. was playing it even though he wasn't streaming it. Yeah, he was for a while, but now he's now he's what, really. What was the final? Was it losing to Bembo with um, Nobility? No, I mean, no, to be was... fair, I'd be pretty close to quitting <laughs> Bloodborne if I lost to Bembo with Nobility because that's like. <laughs> he didn't like, you know, the uh, rats were getting banged on every game, basically. I like the most OP race. To cut a long story short, he didn't like you know the farming the and, and well. everything. I don't. I, I don't particularly like uh, the leveling. It's just yeah, it's DP sneaky get everywhere, and it's movement eight ball carriers. And it's just depressing. Mm. Like it just feels like it's so heavy on the removals, like. It's, the skill required to win games is slower than it ever was before. Mm. I like how he just hasn't bothered to cage. Yeah, this is a bit. I think he's going to. Eventually. Yeah, but do, it <laughs> do, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> do it now. He's here. Cage him. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> there was no, no need to do these blocks first. <laughs> like, you literally moved this guy to be the cage corner and then just didn't do the others. Yeah, really weird. Good. Just get it sorted out and then do your bloody blitz. Do you reckon he's going to fireball this? Maybe. Yeah, maybe you're scared of a fireball and that's why he didn't bother. But still, just still, still decide on your formation and do it. Like, this guy one over is better, right? If this guy's one over, then it makes the fireball worse. As it is, he's in a fireball spot. These three could be fireballed. Lots of players ready to react. Wouldn't hate fireballing these three. He's, I think he's going to get a better opportunity, to be honest. Yeah, so do I, maybe, but I wouldn't hate it. Oh, new rolls. I wouldn't hate fireball. I don't think I would, but I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't be, like, you know, shocked if he did. and wouldn't hate it if he did. Right, I'm gonna love you and leave you, Jim. Thank no. you for having me. No, don't leave me, Jimmy. Have, have fun chat <laughs> and uh, look after Jimmy. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, Great no having you on. See you, boys. Choose the leg end. The leg end, Dimmy Gee.
fuck off, Jimmy. <laughs> Wow, what a what a mean sound effect. Why would you do that sandwich? <laughs> Why would you make that a sound effect sandwich? That's so mean. <laughs> I would never I would never I don't know what you're talking about, Sun Psycho. <laughs> You're like the uh, you're like the guys with blood ball, Dimmy, just without the talent. <laughs> oh, the classic, the classic. <laughs> oh. Dimmy definitely most was was the most likely to be in a dentist chair, wasn't he? But not anymore. Reformed character Dimmy Gee. Used to be, used to be the Scotty T of Blood Bowl. <laughs> no longer. Now he's sensible. Yeah, I don't hate delaying. I, I wouldn't honestly. I wouldn't have hated either way. Like, because if you go for the if you go for the fireball here, it could pay off massive, right? If you get, you kind of need him down or him. If he goes down, you don't really get anything, do you? You kind of need two down. You'd need the ball down. And you'd need both of these down. So it was a bit shit actually. I probably, I probably would have hated it. It's going for a one in four chance. But the thing is, you'd have all of this to react, so you'd have really good reaction to it. And you'd get it like kind of before he made it safe. So I wouldn't have hated the fireball. I wouldn't have hated it. I wouldn't have thought it was a good one, but I wouldn't have hated it. And I would have understood going for it, but I wouldn't have gone for it myself. The problem is, since it's too early, right? The later it gets, the stronger the orcs get. So the less likely it is going to be to be pivotal. Pivotal for the Dells, right? They're only going to lose more players. The orcs are only going to consolidate more. So... It is what it is. But yeah, the problem is even if it works early, and you go 2-1 up, you still draw 2-2 two -two and go to overtime. It's a pretty shit situation for the uh, Dark Elves all around, really, this. I'd definitely rather be the Orcs in this matchup. Yeah, sorry, Moradam. Don't watch the VOD. He said, he was, he said, fuck this, I can't be chewed with Moradam, I'm off. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, I'm such a moron, you know. Speaking of with Mori down here and speaking of Dimmy, I've I loaded up uh Minecraft the other day, you know, to show to show the realm. And I thought the latest update had, had taken all my inventory, but I just literally put all of my inventory in a chest so that I could do I could operate a farm. And I'd just totally forgotten. It'd been that long since I'd played. I'd completely forgotten that that's what I that's what I did. So I was like, I've lost all of my stuff. What the hell? But I haven't I haven't lost anything. So I'm just a complete idiot. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a complete idiot. Also, by the way, I've forgotten literally all of the controls. Like I couldn't do anything. I had to go into creative so that I wouldn't just accidentally kill myself or like delete things or whatever. Like it was hor horrific. Yeah, here's this thing. This is a thing. This is another thing. Yeah. That was the tour. It was a great tour, yeah. And uh 
but I just I can't replay it. Every time I load up Minecraft again, I don't know any of the controls and can't play it. <laughs> it's really terrible. <laughs> Man, I wish I'd created an account 12 years ago, honestly. <laughs> Glorious. See, now, now the wizard's going to be worse, isn't it? Unless you uh, get really lucky. Or like you really stretch the orcs. Like, I guess you've really got to hold the centre. If you can hold the centre really strongly, force them down the side, then hit them with a fireball. Or the uh, or the frog, but more likely to get like a four-man fireball. Right, there's a four-man fireball there. Four-man fireball can work out pretty well. Also, the thing about going for an early wizard is, if you uh, the the earlier the wizard is, kind of the better it is, right? Because you're turning this quite good thrower into a shitty fucking frog. You're getting more turns of facing a frog instead of a, an orc thrower. Which is pretty good. So there is something to be said for the early the early uh, wizard in that regard. Just fuck him into a frog and then, you know, it's good, isn't it? Terraria. No, Terraria doesn't appeal to me. I'm, uh, Minecraft appealed to me massively. And I just thought, oh my god, I can't afford to lose my life to it. Same way as... To be honestly, World of Warcraft didn't really appeal to me. But I still purposely didn't play it in case I lost my life to it. Whereas Minecraft, I knew... I knew I would lose my life to it if I played Minecraft. Oh my god. Yes, he would. Yeah, yeah Moradam. He just gets turned into a frog. His entire previous life as a Blood Bowl player is forgotten. And he gets the stat line of Frog. I'm amazed that I haven't lost my life to, to Minecraft, honestly. I, I can't believe that I've played it and, like, not just... I'm not playing it now for 12 hours a day. Yeah, the Diablo 2, exactly. Yeah, Diablo 2 scared me for when it came to War World of Warcraft. Because I didn't really think I'd like Diablo 2 either, but then... I played it and I did. I even like mining for materials. Honestly, the first time I played it, I was just like, I was just mining for hours. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> I didn't think I'd enjoy the mining part of Minecraft. I saw it and I thought, oh wow, I could do lots of crafting. You know, so I did nothing prepared me for just how fun mining in a straight line was. <laughs> just, Literal, <laughs> it's a straight line. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Well, yeah, funnily enough, I really like Pal World, so I guess that that might be the kind of game that I enjoy. Yeah. You did, yes. <laughs> that was in this. <laughs> the Dirt Island <laughs> to make the gigantic cock. <laughs> the, the land of the floating trees it became, didn't it? The land of the floating trees because all of the dirt was gone. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I need to make a I need to make one in the new in the new realm to be honest. Probably should play more Minecraft, honestly. Wow, the Adels have used four, four over four minutes of bonus time. Orcs have used three minutes. So I think he's trying to play around the fireball, but probably should just be more scared of the uh, of the zap. 
This is pretty solid, though. Pretty solid from the Orcs, you know, because, like, the, the Dells did take the scent. You know, it made the center really strong. So make him have to push up a side. I think you kind of do the same, like, again. Like, make, make this a little bit weak and make the center strong again. And then uh, what you can do is, you know, if he pushes down there again, then you spring the fireball. Or, or, or that. I think not this turn. Any. Already, this turn is out. Could try and set up a surf as well. Got this blitzer down here to be like the counter score option. He only got one witch elf. Oh no, it's here. I didn't see it. Behind all of the skills. Two witch elves. Guess he's blitzing this one. And this is an assist, rather than a random base. <laughs> what happened first half? Oh, that's a good, good question, Steve. Uh, Dimmy came in, and we talked about <laughs> movies and TV shows. <laughs> I really have no idea what happened from a Blood Bowl's perspective. Um, but it did end 1-1. Uh, the the Elves scored really quite early, didn't they? The Elves scored quite early. And then the Orcs equalised pretty easily, honestly. Um, so, yeah. I don't hate everything. I don't hate everything. But... I did not like Fallout. I most people did. Most people also liked uh, what's it called? Fury Road, didn't they? Lots of people liked Fury Road. I, however, did not. Jimmy hates everything. Yeah, so I like this. He's he's done exactly what I said, right? He's made this strong, and then uh, and then tempted him there to try and keep going down the side to make his quiz more devastating. Oh, this one is a sidestep. I think I would have just blitzed the witch elf, honestly. Maybe he's too far away. No, he's not. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'll just blitz the witch elf here. Maybe, maybe he will just blitz the witch elf. He doesn't have to blitz the sidestepper, does he? And he does. And he gets the pow. The plim plom pow. Really nice having the uh, stand firm there, isn't it, against the witch elves? Ooh, giving away the jump up pit. Interesting. Not what I would have done. Who can say? If it's good or bad. I guess it's on tackle, but he's just gonna punch you, isn't he? I guess he's I guess he's got defensive behind like guard behind him and there's no guard on the uh Wood Elf team. And he can just put in like a big and next to him, can't he? Anyway, he can just put this big and in one, two, three, four. This big and can go in there, and then this big and can go around. Yeah, I don't think I'd have gone in there. I think I'd have gone here, here. He goes one. He goes one. He goes in. Hmm. I call them woodies. No, witches. <laughs> Could five all these three. You could frog the thrower. 
Oh, put them in there. Does fireball those three? If you're going to fireball those three, I would have definitely fireballed these four, right? Fireballing these four. I guess, yeah, I guess if you... Be kind. No, I don't like fireball. Surf the free orc at the front. Oh, yeah, wow, he's just offered this guy up as a sacrifice. Wow. Yeah, I do not like offering him up as a sacrifice. So, yeah, just surf him and don't fireball. But, um, never mind. It's a bit of a shit fireball because I think you you need a one in four, right? You need two of them. You, you need him. You need him. So you just straight away to 50-50. You need him. This guy doesn't matter. You probably need him as well, realistically. It's a bit of a shit fireball. Honestly, maybe these three, so that you've got either one of them, but it's not neither of them really good. Yeah, he is surfing this guy. That is weird, isn't it? Because I already liked that this guy was, was on there, you know, with a stand firm. And then didn't even notice this guy just going, Hello, please surf me. Yeah, I think frogging was better. Lots of people don't like frogging, though, for some reason. I don't know why. Like, turning somebody into a frog is so much better than knocking them over, isn't it? Like, it's so much better. Yeah, everyone's allowed to be wrong, you know, people, people can have different opinions, even if they're not wrong. As I say, lots of people like, like Fallout. I don't. That's fine, isn't it? We can think different things. Hello, Pedro. Yeah, he should have done the surf about 10 years ago. I agree. He's not done the surf? Shut up. Shut up. I guess this way he gets an extra hit. There, right, this guy comes out, GFIs, and he punches him. Not if you're all the one, though. <laughs> Wait, why is he falling here? Oh, because he failed the... <laughs> he failed the GFI. It looked like he failed that. Oh, you re it? No! He re it. Oh, my goodness. I did not like that re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did not like that very much. Wow. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Maybe a tilt reroll, yeah. Which, you know, there's no reason to, right? Nothing bad's happened to the Dark Elves this game. Right? He's got one Kaz. Irrelevant player, Kaz. Like, this is a scary, this is a scary orc team. That doesn't mean really bad dice for the Dells. Like, they haven't really done anything. They haven't really got close to doing anything in the whole game. But, like, they haven't been smashed to pieces off the pitch, which is normally where, like, a tilt reroll would come from, isn't it? <laughs> I'm blasted off my ass. <laughs> And now the orcs don't need to worry about the fireball or the uh, frog. Don't like this. TB hitch. But it works out because uh, I would have done this block first. And then blitzed her if I didn't power. 
basically. But I guess this is kind of safer because you do the blitz, then you move the orc, then you make the block. But because if you power, then you can maybe blitz this one, or you can blitz him depending. And if you don't power, you can blitz her again. So I quite like making this block first. spicy a lot spicy I think before you make that block you move this guy as well right because he's going to sidestep to here here so you wanted to move this guy to like here or whatever ok so he rerolls into the powers he's just realised what he's done <laughs> I mean, you say not even a one-star coach, Savage. One-star coaches are very good, you know. Most people are not one-star coaches. Gym star coaches. Rick Reckless could be a one-star. Rick might be a two. Rick's a one or a two. Like, one-star, a gym star coach is very good. Very, very good. It's not just, you know, anyone who's decent gets a star. Gym star is something to be proud of. Glorious. Had you on a gym star? No, by being, by me him. thinking you're really good Until at Blood Bowl. Victorious. Being really and good I at Blood Bowl is no defend. guarantee. Enjoy, guys. You have to, I have to know that you're, I have to think that it is like a Michelin star, exactly, Machina, but they're gym stars. Rimbo! Flip me, what a leg end. 56 months, that's a lot, awful lot of beaver pregnancies, isn't it? 14? 14 beaver pregnancies? Four. Over four and a half years. Flip me, thank you very much. Yeah, that's it, Michelin stars, yeah. But, gym stars. Because I thought I'm not elitist enough, so I'm, I, sh I should shout like Gordon Ramsay at people, call people donkeys, and then also uh, <laughs> make my own star rating to judge, to judge people. <laughs> Basically. But yeah, I mean, it's me thinking you're good, so it's not just being good. Glorious. There could no, be lots of good people who will never get a gym star because I'll never, I'll never know and I will defend. I will defend. Jesus, six and a half years of gym content. <laughs> you fucking mentalist, Morida. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Where's the refund? <laughs> Rotted your brain, amazing. Well, thank you very much, Morad. I'm staying fantastic for six and a half years. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Got to be one of the oldest, right? It's got to be one of the oldest 78 months. I don't know who the oldest subs are. When was my last game of Blood Bowl 3? Good question, Caution. Uh, last season, sometime. Because I uh, I got hit with a 24-hour ban. Oh, no, a two-day ban. I got hit by a two-day ban. So then I stopped. For uh, like conceding, right? If you concede too much, you uh, you get banned. You get banned from ladder for conceding. 
and I got banned for two days, so I didn't play anymore. <laughs> then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do Artemis's trick, which is make a team that just goes AFK every single game. <laughs> <laughs> Fight fire with fire <laughs> by just by just creating a team that only ever goes AFK and gets you back on your uh, games, which obviously only adds more toxicity to the ladder. But hey, Yeah, so it starts off with like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, and then it gets more and more and more, up to up to a week. You don't get any warning, no, it's it's insane. <laughs> it's completely insane, just quietly. Glorious. There's absolutely no, no idea I won't how much, what you're on or anything. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Like, honestly, when I, I, when I found out about it, I kind of didn't hate it. There's this fantastic. Is shit, then by there's the way. 80 plus months fantastic. Bow your heads, you lowly dogs, to the Don himself as he plays Four. Minecraft because Blood Bowl 3 is shit. There you go. Look at that. I could. He should have gone back, right? He should have gone into here. He should have gone into here or something. This can get hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can get surfed. Never mind hit. He can get fucking surfed. What the fuck? Uh, look at that. Calcium. 84. Four months. That's unbelievable. That's definitely up there. And tier two as well. Holy shit. Absolutely amazing. You lowly ducks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kaz. What an absolute legend. I don't know caution, so I probably should have played a game and concede. Well, I'll play a game and concede and we'll find out. We can find out together. <laughs> We can find out together. All hail King Calcium. It's it, it's got to be the ladder, right? Because it's a new ladder. Because it resets, right? It's it's a different ladder. It's it surely has to reset. I could just ask them. I'll ask them if it resets. That's got to be easy, hasn't it? Whoop! He's rolled a one. Okay, so his plan was to bring him around and use a reroll getting to there so that that tidies it up doesn't it but i don't know i feel like it was a lot easier to just not stand there <laughs> and like stand here and be way 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 safer but never mind like you can still go for the surf can't you just uh or you could jump right maybe one two three four Uphill, uphill serve. Like, what are you going to do better, honestly? So it's like a three plus jump. It's totally reasonable. Yep, he's done it. And this five plus isn't great, is it? Yeah, not many. It's 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 a rolling ten game period. Uh, somebody posted it. I think I've uh, I think I've pinned it in my Discord channel. In the Blood Bowl. Discord channel. Right. Second concede. First concede is no penalty. Second concede is 15 minutes. Third is an hour. Fourth is 12 hours. Fifth is 48 hours. And sixth and more is seven days. There you go. Just score your loon. Yep, he does score. And it's a painless win for the Orcs, isn't it? No uh, no injuries there. Just send offs. It's not over, of course. The uh, elves might kill somebody on the last turn. They do have a dirty player. But, oh, we've gone for a... Uh, a kind of protect he set up, so they probably won't get knock anybody over without... Uh, Without guard. Could get a riot. I don't think he'll one turn without the riot, but yes, with the riot he might be able to. I think he'll I don't think he'll score the one turn without the riot. 
Yes, maybe should have two rerolls. <laughs> Who can say? doesn't even do it and of course there's no uh, there's no summary screen <laughs> there is no summary screen but uh, commiserations to Gatus congratulations to Meatloaf and uh, yeah that was a that was <laughs> that was the game <laughs> um, and right thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic